Take a Slow Homestead. I'm Carol and the wind is blowing again today, as you can probably hear. But I wanted to keep my promise. I said that in the next video I would explain my asparagus patch to you. So that's one thing I'm going to show you and talk about for just a little bit. And then I have another thing that I want to show you. It's a surprise. There's my asparagus patch. And it looks like a weedy patch. It's not. That's just the asparagus from last year. And the reason why I left all of this on here is to protect the new shoots as they're coming up for this year. Uh, protect them from the frost. Now, even though it was 70 degrees yesterday, we are getting a frost tonight. So I'm glad I didn't clean this up yet. All of those little sprigs that are coming up, like those, they'll freeze. Here's one right here. This one. It's a pretty good size. Pretty good thickness. I'll compare it to my finger. Well, just hold it in my hand. So, it's not super thick. But it's not bad. This is the third year for this asparagus. And so this year I will probably get, I'm gonna pick some more of these, even though they're kind of skinny. Um, this is the third year. I keep breaking the bottoms off. Let's look through here, see if we can find any fat ones because I don't want to let them freeze. Look at this tall one. I'm just going to go right down there. Pick it. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty tall. And kind of fat. So, this is the third year for this patch. And this is the year that they're going to start getting bigger. Which is great. Asparagus is a patience plant. It teaches you patience. And I guess there are quite a few things about gardening that teach patience. Oh, there's a pretty good sized one right there. Look at that. So when I was growing up, we lived in a place where right behind our house was an orchard. And it was a peach orchard. And the farmer was very kind and he let us pick peaches whenever we wanted to. Also in his orchard there was tons of asparagus. And he gave us permission to pick whatever asparagus we wanted. So when I was grown up, we had a lot of asparagus to eat in the summertime. Spring, spring and summer. And I grew to really like it. Oh, those are little skinny ones. Let's see what's under here. Oh, I think I'll leave those. They're pretty skinny. I know I'm going to miss some. That's the thing about asparagus. <laughs> you think you have it all and then you walk the other direction and see all the ones that you missed. So, when we moved out to this area where we are now, we didn't have an asparagus patch yet, but along the ditch there was asparagus and so we were able 
to just go along the ditch bank by the roadside and pick asparagus. And that was always a fun thing for our little family to do. Here's what I'm gonna get. And then we finally planted our own asparagus. And we have pretty good asparagus patch from the one that we planted. And it's now my son's, oh, I'm gonna get that skinny one. It's my son's asparagus patch now. It's on his side of the property. And <clears throat> so, you know, even though he says, oh, you can pick what you want. I know that they love asparagus in their family too. I think I might walk over there. Look, I finished planting my onions along this board and also one row of potatoes. Just in passing, I thought I would mention that. Here's my son's garden. I noticed there was a good bunch of asparagus coming up in his patch that I was just talking about but it looks like they have come out and picked it. But maybe I can show you what theirs looks like. Okay. Looks good, huh? Yeah, see they come out and they pick some. There's one coming up there. And they actually have Quite a bit coming up in this patch. And they have all down along there. And then every once in a while, if they decide they need more, then they will thin out some of the thicker parts, transplant them down along that row. And their patch just keeps getting bigger and more productive every year. Also, oh, hello, Robin. Hey, what's up? Hello, Mr. Robin. Okay, goodbye. Anyway, then, three years ago, three summers ago, I planted this patch. So, like I said, this is the third year, and trying to keep it warm, that's why I have it taken all of that, uh, the dead asparagus off the top from last year. Just making sure that spring actually is here and summer on the way. I'm going to show you one other thing from the grocery row garden video. These are those three trees that I was taking some close-ups of and showing uh, the space in between them. So <clears throat> to explain it a little better, there's these three trees all in a line, kind of, kind of in a straight line. And a grocery row garden is where you have trees, berry bushes, and vegetables all in a row. It's like going to the grocery store when you come out to harvest because in between these two trees here there will be um, a variety of vegetables. It's not just all going to be carrots or all going to be whatever. There will be a few carrots, there will be a couple of potatoes, there will be a berry bush like raspberries or something or blackberries and you go along and here's a peach tree so you pick some peaches and then you keep going along uh, your approximately four foot row and you keep picking other things here broccoli and things that you've planted some green beans and just whatever and then there's the other tree and then after that just keep going I could extend that four foot row clear up to my property line, which is about right here. That's my plan for the grocery row garden. And I am going to get
get out of the wind and show you that surprise that I was talking about. Here they are, all the little baby chicks. Hey, chicky. Hey, chicky. Oh. You want to be on camera? I sprinkled some feed out for them on the newspaper. And they're picking at it and they've had their drink of water. Hey there. So now they're just getting used to their new place. The lights on. They don't seem to be too cold because they're not huddled up around each other under the light. Okay. I gotta shut this door. We have 25 amber stars. Hands. One amber star rooster. And a rare breed. The rare breed kind of looks like it might be a cochin or cochin, I don't know how you say it. But it has feathers on its legs. And it's just a little bit more, um, not quite as yellow as the others. So as they grow, we'll be able to tell that one apart more. And then find out if it's a rooster or a hen. But they are very active. I think they're really happy to be out of their little tiny mailing box that they came in. We got a little bit of a rainstorm. Yeah, everything's slightly damp out here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. As we, oh look, there's even a, a puddle, a little puddle. Yay. Thanks for joining me as we checked the asparagus and check the chicks. And actually, got a little harvest today. Well, that's awesome. I'm thankful to get that. I hope you're having a productive day too. And I hope that you will always remember that even when you take it slow, you can accomplish a lot. Thanks for watching.